Seed of Soul returns! So, I need to go find something to do now. Oh my goodness, I need cut. Whatever will I do? I can't progress. Tell me something useful, Mr. NPC guy. What? That's not useful at all. Let's try going inside this tree. Holy crap, there's a girl in here. Yeah, okay, um... And that's pretty much all you're good for is keeping our Pokémon full health. Anyways, let's go see what's over here. Oh my goodness, well, dial double battles. Even wild double battles, you know? Gotta find an antidote, because... Antidotes are good to have when you are poisoned. And now there's the Moss Rock, the ever-important quote-unquote Moss Rock, because, you know, Eevee's evolution isn't totally based off the route. I mean... Oh, goodness. Somebody wants to talk to me. Um... Somebody else wants to talk to me. Well, I'm popular today. Hey, what's she doing here? Anywho, now we're done with the Turnoff Forest. It was short. At least in this video. And, uh, yay, we found the exit. I'm so excited. And, uh, hooray, a soothe bell. I'll never use it because, honestly. Goodbye, Cheryl. We shall see you later, possibly. Who knows? I doubt it, though. So, here we are, Route 205. The glorious Route 205. With the little dirt patches and the little dirt patches, and ha! I'll show those trees. And more dirt patches. I love dirt patches. So let's go and not battle any of those trainers because they're all going to have like Pokemon that can't themselves. Let's grab some berries. Berries are always good. At least that's what I've been told anyway. So now we are in Eterna City. And time skip after I go into the Pokemon Center. So let's see. What is this over here? Oh my goodness. There's a super potion. I can't believe it. My fantasies have told me right. And now let's go see Gardenia. And she is all like, yo, sup? I battled this guy named Stupid, and uh, he mentioned you. And uh, for some reason, I'm looking forward to playing with you. Pokemon, that is. And now we're going inside. And here we go. Oh my god, I can't go through water. I'm such a wimp. I don't want to get my scarf wet. So, uh, we're gonna battle this girl, and she's gonna tell us that, oh my goodness, the clock has to spin around! So the clock's gonna spin around quite a few times. As you can see, it just keeps on going round and round and round and round and round. And many trainers later, we can now go face Gardenia. Who is, for all intents and purposes, one of the easiest battles in this game, I suppose you could say. And she has surprise grass types. I know, I never see you coming either. So she's going to lead with Turtwig, and I'm just like, really? Another person that has the Pokemon I was supposed to start out with? Anyways, gonna leave a Ditto, and gonna get a crit, because I am the best. Not really, but, you know, it's a joke. And here's a good summary of this battle. I'm paralyzed. Oh my goodness, I'm paralyzed again. Oh, she's paralyzed. And... Alright, I'm gonna finally... You little... And here we go, final blow. And she used both super potions, by the way. Thank you, Text, for being there. And now I'm going to use a super potion on Ditto, because Cherim would have been able to kill me otherwise. And I'm going to use a potion on Dit. Whoops. Well, that didn't go exactly as planned at all. And now Ditto is going to use Magical Leaf on this Cherim. And it is finally going to faint. And that is Gardenia. And she will tell us some very important text that we would never have seen before had we not won. And we get the Forest Badge. So now we can go play in a movie called Forest Gump. And we can be like, run, Forest, run! So we have the ability to have our Mew obey us to level 30, and we Grass Knot and other stuff that you should already know if you've played the games before. And now the clock is going to spin around so we can leave, even though we could have just left regardless. So Mew's gonna learn Cut, and that is it for this episode of Ditto Solo Run. And next time we will take care of Team Galactic again.